Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters. Well, the sad reality is that many of us think that we can do whatever we like, but come any important decision in our life, we can just make a dua and Allah is obliged to help us. Hey, what are you doing? What does it look like? I'm jumping out the window. What? <laughs> so the question is that? Don't worry man, I've read my dua. Have you been drinking shampoo again? We have this sort of master-slave relationship with Allah where we deem ourselves to be the masters and Allah to be the slave. How I hear you ask? Well, we raise our hands and we expect Allah to fulfill our every demand straight away. It's up to Allah whether He decides to accept from us or not. Allah is the most wise. And if Allah deems that that dua is beneficial for you, then He will accept it. If not, He will reward you for it. Especially during our exam period, we don't really put in the effort that we can put in. And we expect Allah in those last few nights before our exam, we're doing our tahajjud and we're crying. Oh Allah, please accept my dua. Give me an A star. Even though I haven't finished the textbook and I haven't been attending my lessons. But Ya Allah, please accept my dua. Are you kidding me? Well, the sad reality is, no, he's not kidding. And honestly, even when I was a student, I would do this as well. And many students, if you put your hand on your heart and you ask yourself, did I really do the best I could? Because this dunya is Darul Asbab, a world of means, action, reaction, cause and effect. And Muslims have that extra barakah of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we then couple that with our education, when it comes time to pray salah, we pray and then afterwards we hit the books. Then there's no way that you can fail your exam. But the reality is, and the same happened to me. I knew in my hearts of hearts that I didn't do well. That's why I got a lower grade. But when I was walking home that day, that's not what I focused on. My mind started drifting. And many people complain, and I've heard this from many people, that they start saying, why didn't Allah accept my dua? Maybe I should stop praying. Now there's no logic to that whatsoever. I mean, you take football teams, they lose one match, they go back, they train harder and they come back. And it's the same with exams. We have something called retakes. We can retake the exam. But what's even more scary is that some people even resort to taking their own lives. And when it comes to exams, we can retake them. But our life, once we pass away, there's no return to that. I'm sure if you just work hard, revise, even if you have to retake a year, and you come back, you'll get a much better grade. And you will learn something as well. For suffering teaches us lessons and builds our character as well. And especially when I would not do so well in my exams and I would have to retake, I did learn this message that you can't just do the bare minimum in life and expect to pass. You have to give it your all and only then can you pass. But also I know what you're thinking, why does he have a hammer? I don't really know, so I'm just going to put this to the side. What? I've read my dua. Assalamu alaikum everyone, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You still here? Wow. It's amazing. Go, you know, go, it's, video's finished. So don't waste your time. Don't waste your time with me. See you next time. Assalamu alaikum.